Hello, how are you? Welcome to Santuario Lunar. In this video, I'm going to talk about the goddess of abundance, grains, agriculture, and prosperity, Demeter. So Demeter is related to this and also to the cycle of Earth, to the growth of plants and everything that comes from the Earth. Her Roman equivalent is called Ceres, and the word cereal came from her. The name Demeter stands for Mother Earth, or Earth Mother. G is a variation of G, or Geography, Geology, and Gaia herself, which stands for Earth. And Meter is Mother. So Demeter is one of the main gods and goddesses related to Earth. Demeter taught the humans to use agriculture and to live from the Earth, from things the Earth provides us. And she travels around the crops, observing everything in her chariot, carried by dragons. Different from other gods and goddesses who sometimes have different personalities, sometimes they are very good, sometimes they are really bad, Demeter, no, Demeter is very benevolent, and most of the time she's like this, just like Dionysus. Both are considered to be very calm gods, and both are related to Earth. While Demeter governs over the grains, Dionysus governs over the fruits. The main story involving Demeter involves also her favorite daughter, Persephone. It is said that one day Persephone decided to collect some flowers, but she never returned home, because while picking those flowers, Hades opened a hole on earth and he emerged, kidnapping Persephone and taking her to the underworld, to Hades, his realm. Demeter started looking for Persephone everywhere, but she couldn't find her, and nobody knew what was happening, nobody could help her. So she got really sad and also angered with everyone. So she decided to come down from Olympus and she searched all over the earth. And Persephone couldn't be found. The earth, feeling this anger and this sadness coming from Persephone, started to rot and to decay. So agriculture died, the plants stopped growing and people got without food. In a given moment, Helios, the sun god, knew where Persephone was, that she was with hate. So he tells the matter these, and she goes to the underworld. Hermes and Hecate guide her, and when she finally meets Persephone again, she wants to bring Persephone back to Earth, to the surface. But there's a rule. Once you go to the underworld, if you eat something, you cannot live anymore, you cannot escape. And Persephone, in fact, ate something. Hades offered her a palm grenade, because he knew someday Demeter would eventually find her and she would like to take her back. So he offered her this juicy palm grenade and she ate. That's why she got imprisoned in the underworld. So Zeus had to come and to help the situation. And he decided that for a period of the year, Persephone would be with her mother outside the underworld. And the other period, Persephone would return to Hades and stay with him. So that's why the cycle of Earth and the seasons appeared. While Persephone is returning to the surface to reunite with her mother, we have spring and summer. And when Persephone has to go down to be with Hades again, we have autumn and winter because the matter misses her a lot and her feelings, they are responsible for the growth of plants and grains so they don't grow. One of the oldest rites we know today from Greek is called Eleusinian Mysteries and these mysteries, they were related to Demeter and Persephone. They were held every five years and nobody really knew what happened in them. Until today we don't have this information. Although vases were found, these vases depict the story of Demeter and Persephone. So the activities performed in these rites, we don't know. We know, however, it was dedicated to them. They was used to recreate this episode 
And these rites were also for the earth and for abundance, for prosperity. Another very famous rite was Thesmophoria, dedicated to Demeter and Dionysus. These rites were held for five days in a row, and they were exclusive for women. During these rites, women were also asking for these gods to bring fertility, abundance and prosperity. And fertility not only for the earth, but for themselves. But the activities, again, we don't know exactly what happened. We know there were some prayers, some sacrifices, but exactly how it was performed, we don't know. Demeter's main symbols are the cornucopia, that basket used to carry fruits, grains and vegetables and everything we can crop, and also the grains themselves. And a good way to connect with Demeter, to bring Demeter's energy to our life for abundance and prosperity, is to prepare things, to prepare things to eat, to prepare food, to prepare cakes and any kind of recipes that you can using grains and things that she provides. So if you have the opportunity of going to a field and getting the ingredients yourself, perfect, do it. Prepare your best recipes with them. And then share it with your friends, with elementals, and with Demeter herself. She's going to be pleased. And during the whole process, if you can go to the field or not, and preparing, mixing the ingredients, watching it grow and everything else, keep this story in mind that Demeter never gave up searching for Persephone. And although the earth decayed during that time, she kept her promise or her role. So after she found Persephone and she knew she was tricked, she resumed her activities and earth could grow again, everything could grow again. So if you are facing a difficult situation, it doesn't matter how difficult it is. You have the opportunity to move on, to escape this and to find something that you lost or something that you are looking for, just like Demeter did. And by preparing this food for her, think about your situation and the things you want to attract to your life. This recipe is going to symbolize this thing. And after sharing with, with the right people and with the elementals and all, you are going to achieve it. So this was goddess Demeter, the Greek goddess of agriculture, grains and prosperity. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and share it with your friends. If you reach this point, why don't you stay with me for a while? Here you can watch all the Greek goddesses I have talked about. Here you can watch all the goddesses in general I have talked about. And here on my face you can listen to the Orphic hymns dedicated to the Greek goddesses. Thank you very much.